Now, while you're in Gold Hill, plan ahead to do something else that's very special and unique. And it might be just what you need at the end of your tour of the Vortex. How about some high tea? So what is high tea? I asked myself the same question. The British tradition of high tea began in the mid-1700s as an afternoon meal usually served between 3 and 4 p.m. Initially, it was a meal for the working man, taken standing up or sitting down on high stools. Thus, high tea. Tea with cakes, scones, even cheese on toast would have been served. Gradually, this afternoon meal became more known as an important event on the social calendars of ladies and gentlemen rather than a meal for the working man. For the leisure classes, high tea served a practical purpose, allowing ladies and gentlemen the opportunity of a substantial meal before attending the theater or playing cards. It was around this time that one John Montague, the fourth Earl of Sandwich, had the idea of placing meat and other fillings between two slices of bread. Thus, high tea sandwich was created. This pause for tea became a fashionable social event. During the 1880s, upper class and society women would change into long gowns, gloves, and hats for their afternoon tea. It is said that the best way to experience afternoon tea, high tea, is to indulge yourself with a trip to one of London's finest hotels or visit a quaint tea room in the West Country. Nah, you don't have to go that far. I want you to meet a friend of mine, Jan Martinez. Jan and her husband, Denny, are the owners of the award-winning Teapot on Wheels right here in Gold Hill. Jan is a true lover of tea. I'll let her explain. Hi, Vinny. Thanks so much for coming. Super excited. Thank you for having me. This is so beautiful here. Isn't it fun? I thought we'd sit, this is my most popular oh, wow. table. Oh, wow. So I thought we'd sit here, but they do sit a little low. I always yes. have to warn my customers. So, you know, sometimes okay. if you have bad knees, these aren't really the chair <laughs> to sit in. I'm feeling a little underdressed to be at your place. Just, just uh, so you know, you don't have to dress up, but it is optional. Okay, I'm feeling a little, we're gonna have to do something about it. So okay. hold on a second. Okay. All right, I think I'm ready now. I'm ready. Do I do you I look, look like I'm ready fabulous. for high tea? You look definitely yeah. ready for high tea. How about my stance? Am I sitting proper? Oh yeah, maybe shoulder chin up. <laughs> no, so you're you're chin totally up a fine. Bit more. <laughs> no, what we want you to do when you come to our yes. place, the Teapot on Wheels, is actually we want you to feel really comfortable and okay. relaxed because this is a special place and you're going to be here with friends or family. And you know what? If you want to come dressed to the nines, you can do that, or you can come casual. It doesn't matter to All us. All right. Whatever or we go half and half. Half and half, you're fabulous. Because when you come for high tea, that's usually the first thing we do is we get your tea going. So we use loose leaf tea. So we would like what to- What tea would you like today, ma'am? Green Paradise, please. Green Paradise, that sounds good. All right. So Green Paradise, uh, yeah. you, you're the owner, you're the expert, why Green Paradise? It's kind of our signature tea here. It's a really great green tea and it has bits of strawberry, raspberry, rhubarb, some other flower. And you know what, nobody ever doesn't like it. So we always suggest it. You should see all these teas. I, I've i never seen this much tea in one place before. And everything's just like. You said loose leaf tea. So that means they are not in a bag. They are not in a bag. We do not serve bag tea here. Um, we have a little saying here at the teapot. Bag tea to us is kind of like the hot dog of the meat world. Now, I'm not saying you can't get good tea in a tea bag, but yeah. we like loose leaf tea. So why high tea? Why a restaurant like in this? And by the way, beautiful, amazing. And your venue for your weddings and amazing. How does that start? We started out of our home office. I had a lot of teacups and saucers, pretty china, tablecloths and teapots, and I rented them. So I was the teapot on wheels. So that's how it started. That's how it started. None of this was here. It all started with that. I, I gotta ask the history behind this, the proper way. To, if I was to, uh, I saw the pictures of the queen 
if I was having high tea with the queen, uh, what, how does this work? I, do I put them together? Do I, am I supposed to be delicate? Well, if I was having high tea with the queen, I would probably really read up on what I was supposed, to, supposed do. to do. I'd okay. probably actually hire a mentor. <laughs> <laughs> and then after about three or four months, I'd feel qualified to go out wow. with the okay. queen. Wow, okay. But this is, in real, my this is real business here. In this my is serious tea stuff. room, um, we're not quite that posh, okay. okay? Have high tea at my place. The first thing you have to do is make a reservation because high tea uh, takes a lot of work. It's all done up that day. So if I have 50 high teas scheduled, I'm gonna, my kitchen staff is gonna make all the stuff for 50 high teas. So if you show up at one in the afternoon and you just wanna come in for high tea, we cannot accommodate that. We have to have a reservation. Okay. So that's the first step. The next step is to show up, preferably on time, that helps. So this is our green paradise tea. It's okay. one of our most popular and we serve it also iced and sweetened. Let me see here. So by itself, it doesn't need anything. Yeah, it's really good. But if you want, you can add sugar. I like to add sugar, so we have fancy little sugar tongs here. It's just to use the sugar tongs is worth it, so, because oh. it's kind of fun. And all the little girls oh. that come in to have high tea here love the sugar tongs. <laughs> Now, you don't want to clank. Try not to clank. Don't do this. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Just I'm stir, getting a good lesson. stir softly. So I, that would be improper. Yeah. That would be improper Maybe. to Maybe. It's not improper clanking. here because nothing's really improper here. We really want to focus that we're not about all the rules. We're about the relationship. Okay, okay. there well, you go. Well, I, I haven't made any noise yet. I, I'm very impressed. I'm impressed because, you know, <laughs> if you know what I do for a living, as you do know what I do for a living, I'm very yeah. loud. <laughs> and uh, and I make a lot of noise in the kitchen. So this is very this is unique. Oh, I clinked. Don't clank your spoon. You're wrong if you clank your spoon. And actually, you know, the pinkies up thing is really just an American thing. They don't really do this over in the UK. They think we're kind of silly to do this. So you're setting thing. me up for uh -huh. failure mm -hmm. right there. Yeah. So just so you so know. So not pinky up. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Good cup of tea. That's the tea that we uh, we use that same exact tea in here okay. in a brewing basket. That is strong. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Uh, I'm feeling a little constipated. <laughs> um, which type of tea should I use? <laughs> you mentioned oolong. I've never had anybody ask that. <laughs> we had a little kid one time. He was about four years old, and he was having high tea with his grandma, and we brought the tower out. This and his eyes got about as big as that tower, and he said, that is a tower of deliciousness. Oh. So it has been dubbed the tower of deliciousness ever <laughs> since. I, just, I think I just made the same eyes. <laughs> I know. So typically you start from the bottom on a tea tower and you work your way up. So we would start with the sandwiches. And what we have on our summer menu is we have a cucumber sandwich, a chicken salad sandwich, and a ham and cheese sandwich. And so this tower is actually set up for four people just because we didn't know how many people were going to be here. Okay. So, okay. And then um, up in the middle section, we have scones. We have a plain scone, scone and we have a lemon lavender scone. And then we have some rosemary shortbread cookies. And up on the very top, we have our very British Victoria sponge, which is Victoria sponge <laughs> oh cake. Goodness. You should be able to just take your scone and break it. Let's okay. see what you think. Mm. I think it doesn't matter which one you put on first. I think you're right. <laughs> that is fantastic. Isn't that good? Oh my goodness. Wait a minute, there's rosemary in these there's cookies? There's rosemary from my garden. I'm gonna, in my super green, what's it called? Green delicious, green. Green paradise. Green paradise. Mm -hmm. Green paradise. Don't dip it too long or it'll get soggy. Oh my I goodness. Want soggy I bread. need to go to finishing school. <laughs> mm. I don't think you're quite ready for tea with the queen yet. <laughs> Maybe another couple weeks. I'm working on it. <laughs> okay. Did you get it? I got it. Okay, so you can take your flag out. Okay. Don't want to eat that. No. All right, I'm going to eat it now. <laughs> <laughs> This is crazy. You people are very talented. 
I'm, I am Thank so you. happy to be here. Thank you. And I'm so happy to share this with other people. Well, good. Well, before you get too excited, okay. we have one last little dessert that's going to come out. Oh, my Thank you, goodness. Linda. Should I move this over? Yeah, let's scoot like it this over here? here. That's fine. Right. These, this is our chocolate mousse, and we serve it in this little teacup. How cute is that? I'm in shock. I don't know what to say. Isn't I, it cute? Everything. It's like having dress up Better. with your mm. daughter. So good. No packages. That's amazing. Okay, so I gotta admit, the whole experience was terrific. Terrific. Get it? Come on. <laughs> so that is our high tea experience. When you come, you not only get to hang out with your friends or family or both, you get to enjoy just a um, plethora of flavors. This is what you'd really look like. <laughs> do, you need, do you need a nappy? <laughs> <laughs> if you weren't being proper. Uh, it's so been a happy. delight to have you, especially with that snazzy jacket. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. I think I think I got flour all over my, sugar all over well, my pants. Well, at least it'll blend in and, with and your jacket. <laughs> It's well, okay. thank you again, and thank you so much for having us. Thank you. And, uh, we look forward to seeing you again. I will, I will be here. All right. I will be here with my wife, my granddaughter. Cheerio. So, thank <laughs> you. What I found most touching about visiting Jan at the Teapot on Wheels is that in this chain-fed, fast-paced world, we forget what it's like to just sit down and have a nice meal with someone you love, your friends, your family. Having high tea changes that. It makes you do just that. Sit down, take your time. As it comes out in courses and you're conversing and the atmosphere and all the little trinkets and the process and the love that goes into the meal that's prepared and the tea that you get to choose. You have to experience it for yourself. I mean, you are going to absolutely love high tea. Thanks for watching. See the full episode on PBS or allacrossoregon.com.